Welcome back, everybody. Um, I'm very happy that you're here today because we've been like gone for two weeks. But uh, we're back and we're just ready to give you some news, man. This is uh, News with the Animal. I am your host, Animal. Once again, today we are uh, broadcasting from a sky rise in Puerto Rico. We got fucking Ivan across from me. Hello. We got JD next to me. Yo, yo. What's up, man? You guys like this weather in Puerto Rico? It's oh. always fantastic here. It's yeah. always sunny in Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> the doorman let you guys in. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's cool. fantastic. Still Eduardo? Ed- yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was a little mad at us because he's like, hey, man, it's been three weeks since you've been here. I'm like, hey. Did you forget to feed him again? I did. Oh, I did. <laughs> You're supposed to feed those things. <laughs> ah, it's stupid. Anyways, we're back. It's been two weeks. We had some sh- crazy shit going on, but uh, we're ready to go and give you some news. Since we're two weeks behind, you probably heard about some of this already, but I don't care. We're still Now you get to hear our it. takes on it. Yeah. Because who doesn't like our opinions? That's right. That's why you're here, right? That's yeah. why you're listening. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I came all the way to Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, by the way. I heard that Red got stalled out on the highway on his motorcycle. So <laughs> he had a hard time crossing that ocean. <laughs> hey, did you see him down in Kentucky this past weekend? Yeah. Red. Did you see Red going down the highway yeah. on his way oh, down? Oh, yeah. He yeah. had a scarf. It was like flapping in the wind. <laughs> he had those like old bearing like glasses on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm man. going for the Mad Max look, but this is all I can. <laughs> all Red. right, guys. Let's do this. Um, I want to start out with... Probably my favorite story, which is two weeks old now, but um, Mr. Shaquille O'Neal is in a mosh pit. Um, I originally saw this video on Facebook, just kind of flipping through by just some random person, but I ended up getting the full article from uh, Metal Injection. Shaq was at a festival called Tomorrowland, most likely shooting his new reality show called Shaq Life, which I didn't even know he's doing his own reality show I now. I had no idea. Apparently, it's like a documentary type style show chasing his DJ career. Uh. Yeah, he's a DJ now. That explains why he that he was at that show. That show was a EDM or yeah. EDM. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck show is he at where he's moshing? But it's uh, it's not a, it's an EDM. It was, uh, yeah, it was it's a, a metal EDM metal. thing. Yeah. At first, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's a dude that looks like Shaq. I, I see what you did there. And then it turns out to be really Shaq, and I'm like, oh, dude, sat like three feet above everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Down in front, right? And you're seven <laughs> foot one on the rail. Yeah, he's um, taking the space of three people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you see how like gentle he was though with everybody? Like, oh, yes, dude, he dude, dude, like, like all right. People. I was surprised he even got in there because imagine like you just step on somebody or something happens, like you can get fucking sued or yep. something. I don't know. Yep. That's I, I thought that was pretty sweet though. It speaks a lot. Got to gotta get all that college money. Yep. Oh yeah. Shaq got rich. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. I had that ready to say after this story. Nope. God nope. Damn it. They wouldn't let me have it. Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, exactly. Thought it was pretty cool. I mean, JD with the steel. Exactly. <laughs> Two points. Boom. Uh, let's see here. I was I was excited about this. So Deftones were teasing something last week about something coming uh, yesterday, which was the twenty eighth. Something got released today. Deftones. Maybe not. It was news yesterday. Unless I, it was something I opened new. up my Spotify. Yeah. And something popped up with some old like old Ooh. stuff. I want to see this. Uh, while I'm looking this up, uh, what they announced Told yesterday you. was they're doing their second annual Dia de los Deftones tour. Um, they did this last year in November in Petco Park, which I thought was really cool because it's in a baseball stadium, and I have kind of have that on my bucket list. Where's Petco Park? There's, uh, for the, where the Padres play. Oh, that's why nobody cares. <laughs> Soundgarden. <laughs> oh, it's a Soundgarden. Okay. Ooh. Um, but anyways, what they're doing again, uh, same thing, same place, uh, November 2nd, but they have Gojira playing with them, co-headlining. Ooh. Hmm. It's an interesting combo there. It's got me interested. Yeah, but the rest of the bands, no disrespect, I've never heard of them. JPEG, Mafia, Hum, H-U-M, I guess, uh, Youth Code, Brutus, and then there's this other band called, it's like spelled like churches, but it's there's a V Isn't in there, that, so it's C- I thought that was uh, Chino's other band. That's uh, That is not them. Is that Crosses? That's Crosses. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it took me a second there. One night I missed out on their show. They've never been back. It's like years ago. I was like, oh, I'll be fine. It's really good, though. I know. <laughs> I know fine. what you're saying. It's not like <laughs> Team Sleep where it puts you to sleep, but it's kind of cool. Is team, team Sleep an actual thing? Yeah. Yeah, they're so actual little bands. that Chino does? Yeah. You could throw it all under one umbrella. It's all Team Sleep to me. Oh, no. You haven't even looked. But that's Sorry. an unfair judgment, though. You haven't even listened to Churches. Or not churches. Fair. God damn it, crosses. <laughs> That's true. That is true. <laughs> you gotta check them out. I've tried to listen to the Deftones and I just can't do it. I could I could listen to like their hits and stuff like that, and be fine. But I I don't know like 
it just uh, I'm just, I'm in the same boat really. Yeah. It's hard for me to actually like sit there and like listen to an album and it's just they like, have a song with Maynard and Jerry Cantrell not together. Right. Two separate. That would have been killer. Yeah. Yeah. Go figure. Right. Never. Uh, I think Passenger is the one that has uh, Maynard. It is. And then uh, Jerry did a a solo on something like an album or two ago. So I checked that out and. That was the best part of Jerry's. So that Passenger song was off of White Pony, and there was a documentary that I was watching where Chino was saying that working with Maynard was like one of the coolest experiences they ever had because he they had like a whiteboard essentially and wrote out how Tool does their songs. And out of respect for Maynard, they wrote this song the way that Tool did it. It was like all backwards, all math, shocker. <laughs> but this really, I like that song though. That's a badass song. It's interesting. Yeah. Speaking of Tool, Tool News. The new album title was revealed. Tell me it. Fear Inoculum. Okay. Coming out August 30th. And here's what I'm fucking excited about. Wow, that's within a month. Yep. Here's what I'm ready for. Are you guys ready for this? Because I'm ready. This Friday, their entire back catalog is going to be now available for streaming and digital download. Ah, that's Hmm. about time. About fucking time, man. But I guess, hey, if you got this shit coming out, you know, well... What better way to celebrate it than uh, yep. to make the, yeah. the whole back uh, catalog available? Yeah. Um, I tried searching on Tools Facebook for that and their website. It didn't say anything about the streaming, though, but that was courtesy of Metal Injection. And I trust them on that because I saw that they posted it, then Blabbermouth posted it, then Loudwire, all of them. Um, I don't know what that means, if it's just strictly Apple Music, if it's Spotify, whatever, but I'm really hoping. I'm sure it's all the it's main most ones. most likely all of them. Yeah. yeah. About time, man. I'm excited for that. They're like one of the few holdouts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like um, shit, Led Zeppelin caved, uh, mm-hmm. ACDC caved. You know, we got Beatles a couple of years ago. Beatles did. That's right. Yes. Like so uh, everybody's yeah. coming around. Yeah. You got to come with the new ages. It's what's now. It's it is. Now, yeah. Uh, yeah. You got to get with it, man. But I'm excited. I, I really want to listen to their old stuff. Uh, here's a rando story I'm going to throw at you guys. Oh. Jerry Lawler. Uh, had the f- king? The king. Jerry the king Lawler is suing a Tennessee sheriff for $3 million over his son's death from 2018. Now, I don't know if you guys know about this whole story, but uh, Brian Christopher, obviously Grandmaster Sexy, died in police custody in 2018, okay? And this was according to TMZ. Uh, What Jerry is alleging is that Brian died under their custody, and it could have been absolutely prevented if the proper protocol was followed. Apparently, Jerry told the sheriff that to watch his son, he needed help. He already had several issues that he was facing, including drug and alcohol treatment. Uh, He was arrested for an alcohol-related charge, allegedly. Um, Also in the suit, alleged, you have to, this like 15 times, because I don't want us to get in trouble, but allegedly the officer at the jail noticed Brian in the corner of his cell with a towel over his head, but walked past him to take out the garbage instead. So they found him dead in his cell, self-inflicted. Hmm. So Jerry is suing. I don't know if it's just a specific sheriff or if it's the Tennessee sheriff. It's the department. Most I don't likely know. it's the department. Yeah, I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's all of it. For $3 million over the Doesn't Rumble seem death. that much. Doesn't, doesn't when you put the price on you your really kid's life. But Three mil, that's all I need. Yep. So we'll obviously stay watching this story. I didn't even know that this was ongoing. It just kind of scrolled across my little page. Interesting. Yeah. I had no idea. Here today. That sucks. Poor guy. Uh, Slipknot. They just came out with their latest single, Solway Firth. Did Doesn't you matter. guys listen to it? Yeah, I, listened I listened to it, to it once. Didn't grab me. Though. I didn't even make it all the way through. No? No. I ain't got time for this shit. Didn't grab me. So far, All Out Life was kind of generic for me. That unsainted, I was like, okay, I got the old, you know, the chorus y, catchy thing. I don't know. Um, we are going to be at that show if anybody's going Sunday the 11th at Hollywood Casino Amphitheater in Tinley Park. But if you're not from Chicago, you just say, yeah, it's in Chicago. 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 You say Chicago. I don't know, man. Do you know anything about like, uh, does, it, does it have any meaning to it? The name? I have no idea. Corey's so hard to keep up with, lyrically speaking. It's too forced, man. God damn. I can't, I, hmm, I can't deal with it anymore. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of on the outskirts where I respect them for being around for so long, and I'm just looking forward to seeing the show for the old school stuff. I'm necessarily not anti-new Slipknot, but I'm not really like going to dive deep. Something that I came across that I did not look at yet, mm-hmm. I was planning on to, but I forgot about it. <laughs> um, I saw something that Corey 
mentioned something about retirement. Really? Yeah. That they could go on without him? I don't know. I didn't look into it. I saw it. a quote like that. It was just uh, like a headline was uh, Corey talks about a new album and possible retirement or something like that. Mm. I want to say it was Rock Feed yeah. that I saw. Interesting. Do you guys think that at, well, you look at the, at the great chapter, that was like three years ago, right? So now they're back. Do you see another album cycle after this for them? Who knows? <sighs> Could they be that Guar that's been around forever, you know, and keep going? But Guar had a theme that helped that's him true. keep going as well. That's true. Um, that's a good question, man. I don't know. Like, I remember back in the day him saying this had been circa, like, 2001, like, right about Iowa, in between Iowa and Subliminal Verses, maybe only going about three or four albums. Really? Oh, that's they were talking about years. that from the beginning. Yes. Yeah. Joey was quoted saying that, like, I don't see us going past, I think it was, like, three, maybe. And for those keeping track, uh, they really haven't. It's only been about those first three. <laughs> uh, I'm hating. Oh, no. Uh, no. Da, 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 learn to da, da, laugh. Da, da, da. It's all right. Um, it's not like we're on their guest list or anything. I couldn't even imagine for people like us, like, hey, want to do an interview with us? They're going to be like, no. A second <laughs> baseball reference. Put it on the board. You want to do an interview with me? No. No. <laughs> um, if anybody's interested, hell yeah, on their Facebook, they're doing a bunch of webisodes about making the new album. They're four in right now. I, I think it's interesting. I've been watching them. You, uh, I haven't watched them. What about that whole Mudbane possible getting back together? <sighs> with that, uh, because of the Berber Bing memes that's yep. been going around? Did you see that interview with Ryan? I did. It's, he's so humble about it, which is adorable. I love him so he's much. He's awesome. Yeah, man. You know, what did we say back a couple of shows ago that I said, you give it two years, we'll hear something, I bet. I definitely hope so. Because it's uh, this is the end of Hell Yeah, right? Yes. Well, they haven't officially, but if it's it, the, if it's definitely the end of Hell Yeah, which I would assume it is, Mudvayne has to come back. Yeah. What else? What else are you gonna fucking do? I don't know. I was watching. I'm going to the celebration of there. It's the Hell Yeah sh- stop in Chicago. It's called like the celebration of Vinnie Paul. I'm going to pay my respects. I'm still not ready to say goodbye yet. I'm not. You know, it's not really ready to talk about it but for real though like i want to be there one last time and see all this like i saw they did like an awesome tribute video for him and stuff like that but i'm gonna be honest with you the live footage that i heard with roy what is magora or how mayorga mayorga was not happy no what do you mean mm-hmm. so there's a song that um that they play that there's one section where as a drummer you can kind of lazy your way through a certain section and i felt that i heard that and I respect Roy. I mean, I'm not going to say that, that oh, I could ever even compete with what that guy's doing. But I'm just, as a drummer, I'm like, ooh, no. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about when you listen to something? You'll have to show live? me. I want you to share this on our uh, socials, man. Okay. That Absolutely. way everybody else can follow along, too. Okay. Yeah, it's a song called War in Me, and it was taken back, I want to say it's footage from May. And, like, underneath the actual main chorus, when Chad's like, life's too short to be so bar. Like, the beat under it is not as clean as it was with Vinny doing it. It could have been a live thing. Lord knows when you're trying to go along and you you got <laughs> that adrenaline somebody's pumping. Hating. I am. Oh, I am. It is. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll, I let am. The, we'll let the people decide this one. I am. I'm hating. Oh, I, I can't wait for you to share this. It's VP, so man. So that way eight people can look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's VP. I don't know. I just feel that listening to Hell Yeah for all these years and you're having somebody else step in and also playing drums... You're going to put everything Bible. You mm-hmm. want it, everything to be solid. Yes. I don't know. That's just me, but also hating. <laughs> uh, poor old Devil Driver, man. On their Facebook, they shared that they have canceled their upcoming European tour. What happened? Unexpected circumstances completely out of control of the band, according to their Facebook. The oh, fuck does that mean? Usually Europe means visas, I bet. Something be. like that. That's actually an interesting take. It's got to be, right? What I would think so, be? yeah, because they were like, we'll come back in 2020 with a bigger show than ever. Buyertickets.com. Maybe we can <laughs> ask Austin. Yeah, there you go. Ivan, I want to talk to you about this one. Okay. <laughs> House of Blues released a statement on their upcoming As I Lay Dying tour. Okay? I want your full-fledged opinion. I'm excited <laughs> for this. So, As LA Dying is playing a couple of House of Blues venues. Uh, they're coming out to us on December 3rd with After the Burial and a Mirror. This is going to be fantastic of a show. <laughs> so, people are obviously having a lot of backlash about As LA Dying playing at their venues for obvious reasons. As um, they should. Yes. 
Um, there was a spokesman for the House of Blues told the Boston Herald that though staff and management may not agree with particular performers appearing at our venues, ticket buyers have the right to purchase tickets or not purchase tickets. Um, I don't really know how what I'm trying to bridge into with this. Do you feel that that was a good statement? Are are you like nope? I don't want them anywhere. Like if you were like a venue owner, like I don't want anything to do with them. Well, speaking of pure terms of a venue owner, they're there to make money. Right. If someone's going to bring in a lot of cash flow, they're mm-hmm. going to bring in the people that brings in a ton of cash. Right. Um, I didn't quite un- like quite get it. Maybe like I half heard it about the guy's statement. Mm-hmm. Um. What what exactly was he trying to do? Is he like all for them playing there? He's just basically saying, "Yeah, we'll book them, but the tickets are going to sell either way. You want to go see him? Go see he's, him." He's not. leaving it into the hands of the people. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, by all means, that's fair. Yeah, it could hurt, mm-hmm. or it may not. Right. I don't know. On, on, on cash, on the, all terms. Like, right. On sp- <laughs> 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 Purely speaking on money flow, right. cash flow. Right. Um. Personally, I could give two shits about them. Yeah. But not them. Okay. I give two shits about him. Right. And Beasts. So when we've talked about this before, do you think that now with him being a certified counselor for domestic abuse, donating thousands of dollars? I think it's all face. You think what? I think it's all face. Yeah. Yep. No shit. Yep. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? You're a public figure to start mm-hmm. start off with. Mm-hmm. You're going to pay somebody to murder somebody. Right. Garbage. Mm-hmm. Well, obviously. You're scum. Right. Uh, someone's going to double check this for me because I think he ended up marrying that girl that he was going to have killed. No. No. He married someone else. else. He married someone else that was sending him letters and was visiting him Ooh, or some shit like I that. The Charlie that. Manson effect. <laughs> right. Um. So, you know, purely on my opinion. Right. Okay. This guy went and wrote a book. He's making money mm-hmm. off of what he did. Garbage. Yeah. Pure garbage. If he was in prison for life, yeah. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. You know, write write a story. Give your funds to to help other people. Mm-hmm. But for someone that got a slap on the hand, no. Yeah. Nope. And then come back in the limelight like nothing happened. Fuck that. That is I'm true. I'm sorry. Fuck I, that. I have to agree with that. I will that. not support that band at all. No. I'll support, I, really... I will support the members if they go off and do their own thing. Mm-hmm. I, I'll fully support those guys. Him as an individual, fuck it. Makes sense. It's an interesting take, though, because with Ivan's standpoint is that he's, he's, he's making cash off of this. Yes. They're selling out a shit ton of venues because, number one, controversy sells. All the buddies are going to be like, hey, we're going to go see Azalea Dying. Number one, it's been like 10 years, but I still want to go see him. But could, if the money wasn't involved, could a true, re- like, let's say if he didn't write the book, if he didn't make all this money, obviously, and he's donating it, could you believe that he's truly rehabilitated? Or do you think it's flawed because of the money? It's flawed with money. Yeah. Money destroys everything. Yeah, it does. Money's the root of all of evil. Yeah. Um, him putting a face on top of all this stuff, like I said, purely my opinion. Yeah. He could be pure about it. Mm-hmm. But... I always say if someone's pure about something, they're not going to be posting it or make, you know doing anything like that. Mm. They're going to be behind the scenes. Like if I feed someone, uh, if I see a homeless guy and I give him a, a bag of McDonald's, I'm not going to post it. Oh my gosh, so many people do that, man. And they're doing it for face. Yeah, it's, it's purely for face. For the likes and stuff, yep. taking selfies. I've, 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 I've fed homeless people and I didn't put their shame on public yeah. domain. I guess yeah. how you would say it. It's respectable. No, I just gave dude bur- like burger and fries. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, have agree. A, I hope you have a good day. Yeah, and like drove off. Hashtag pay it forward. You know, I, yeah. I completely under- it's I agree with you. It's garbage. That. And if you if you are gonna post something, don't post their picture. That's yeah. their shame. Yeah. You know what I mean? That I mean, even if they say, yeah, cool, mm-hmm. you can say, go ahead and take my picture. Well, my thing is, even <sighs> this is weird. I don't know. Do you think at like at what point is it okay for him to make money or do anything? Do you think there's any like can he get back to that point? You know what I mean? I think, he, and I completely think he's there. And I, but then again, I see the pure in everybody. I'm, I'm very whoop. I didn't know. I just think that he's put in the effort to well, look, look, change. All right, say he's, um, he's being fake about this. Like it's all mm-hmm. for the looks and trying right. to get back into good graces. As long as he's helping people, right? 
uh, is there a certain point where that balances out even though he's doing it selfishly like enough people are being helped by it you know like yeah. it, those it, people that's, are getting, that's the argument it, of altruism it, though, it, you know what I mean it's they're getting help through other sources anyway. He's just adding to the stockpile. They're not his main primary exactly. source. Yeah. If he put all attention into that, hmm. maybe. Hmm. It's interesting. Yeah, because I how you said about when people are pure about something, they're not so straightforward mm-hmm. with it. He's been very active on social media, and like people are calling them out and stuff like that, and he's saying you know whatever. So he's handling it well. And I, I don't even really want to go down this route, but people off, uh, talk about religion, how religious he is. I don't know if he still is, but I remember in the past that they were very vocal about it. Well, if you want to take that, back when this happened, he was super religious, right? Like, he tried to get his wife killed for $1,000. It was 10000 It was 1000 What? 1000 I heard 10000 1000 I don't know the price, so I can't be the... I'm checking it out. I'm... I'm I'm willing to bet another Bud Light there. <laughs> There's a thousand. Bring it. But for and not, I'm not, Dude, I'm not I swear, I swear, I read that it was ten thousand. He paid. I thought it was something cop. extremely low, to be honest. Okay, this it's saying twenty thousand on Wikipedia, but that's not right either. I definitely didn't read twenty thousand. No, this was in 2014. For contribution, so this one says five thousand. So let's just say between five thousand and twenty thousand. Right. Give or take. Not saying that any amount of money is gonna. See, it, it's hard for me because I I don't really care about as a lay dying that much musically anyway uh-huh. to really have like a a true opinion about it. I guess I don't know. Like it, if this happened to fucking what's a good band? Name a band you like? Pantera. Why would you do that? Because they dun, got dun. they got controversy too, man. That's God true. damn it. Uh, Rush. <laughs> Rush. If Getty Lee paid somebody to, to fucking kill it. to kill his wife, yeah. how would you feel? I, I, I would you feel... Got, if you got personal stakes in the matter, this is one of your favorite bands, how do you feel? I would feel, feel let down. Like, yeah. yeah. We're I disappointed. Like, All, exactly. Yeah. That's the word. That's, and that hurts worse. Your dad could tell you that you're fucking grounded because you broke that glass window. Okay, whatever, dad. I'll be grounded for two weeks and I'm fine. Or... You know, I'm just real disappointed in you, son. That mm-hmm. hurts way worse. Yeah. yeah, I agree. It makes all of Russia's positivity and bullshit. How many years did he serve? Well, let's just say it was around three. It had to be because it started in he 2014. Didn't serve, he didn't serve his full sentence. So did he get off with a, like some kind of deal? Was it good behavior? Probably good behavior. It's always good behavior. This is wasted attention. You know, we do as much research as possible, but this really, we didn't expect it to go nah, this Nah, we deep. don't. We only do so much research. Yeah. Let's not fucking bullshit anybody here. Um, It doesn't negate what he did, but uh, what I'm thinking of is that if this is true and what I'm kind of hoping on that it's true... So. It's nice that if if he's like helping other people and got over his demons and I kind of see it as what else are you gonna do? You got to get back in the in the game somehow. Yeah. And what better way than to act like you're sorry? My opinion. Well, look at again. no no one would have guessed this happened. Like Nick from the band was quoted as saying horrible stuff about him. Like he would never work with him again. And then all of a sudden, back in it. But yeah, hmm. yeah, it's hard because the. Uh... I don't know. Do they have another band? I heard well, a story that they that the rest of the band were struggling. Yeah, hmm. and he was making money off, still off, of, you know, book sales and shit like that. Hmm. And the rest of the band were struggling, and then all of a sudden he's released, and boom, back in the game. That I'm that does not sit well with me at all. The other guys were in a band called Woven War, and they were they were pretty. Not extremely well known, but they were like on the Octane channel on Sirius. They had a hit out, so they were doing pretty good. Oh, yeah, no, no pun intended. <laughs> but uh, um, they just didn't really stick around for too long. And maybe it was that they were trying to get back together, or maybe they felt that he, Tim was ready to move on. I feel like we're beating a dead horse here because you I don't know. It, know. Like, it's not right what he did, but nobody died and he served a sentence. I don't know either lock him up for life or let him go out in there and earn his money. I don't know what else to say. Yeah. As, you know, whether he's honest about wanting to help people or not, I don't know. He could have said, no, I'm not doing anything. I'm just getting right back in the band. And there still would have been a ton of people that followed him. Yeah. But going back to your original question, mm-hmm. that guy's leaving it up to the people and makes their decision whether they want to see the band or not. That's why I said it's yeah. a good decision yeah. on his behalf. 
He's not just saying, I'm not going to play those Because they've had... Because uh, there are people that would do want to see them. Because yeah. there are some that have said, no, he can't play, right? There is. Yeah, yeah. I thought I read that. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. know. Interesting. That is an interesting take, because I know we've talked about him before and stuff. would have been awesome to get Red's opinion, because I know Red was trying to go to the show. He, he probably likes him more than he likes yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't condone what he did, but uh, I'm kind of a guy that believes that somebody could truly be rehabilitated. I mean, you have to. Otherwise, what's the point? You right. Know what I mean, it's just either fucking take him out back and shoot him or fucking lock him up for life. I just, you know, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Gotta let the guy live this his shit's life. Crazy. I don't know. <laughs> OJ Simpson is out there making fucking videos on, he's on Twitter, so I, everything's out up in the fucking air. I don't know. Do we, did we talk about this already on his he Twitter? We years. mentioned it. Two years? Two years? Two years. Did we talk about that Twitter thing? When did he go in? 2014? That's what I saw. Well, about 2014, because it said in 2016 after two years in prison. So, God, he's been out for about three years. I wonder how he looks. I wonder if he's like still he's huge. still jacked. Is he still jacked? Yeah, yeah. He's got that prison bud now. Yeah. <laughs> um, what did I want to talk about? This? Oh, did we talk about the thing that I saw on Twitter that was a meme? He got. Probably he's been. Not. OG's been getting into it with people. Like not like into it, into it, but responding to people. And someone actually put on there, what are you going to do, kill my wife? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, you told me I that saw one. that, yeah. So I didn't see it, goodness. but yeah. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, I have nothing really else crazy music-wise. I thought I would talk about what's coming up in August for movies coming out that we could make fun of. Oh, geez. Hobbs and, Hobbs and Shaw is coming out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the idea of, of a buddy cop movie. Yeah. Them two together, I could see... Being like good yeah. comedy yeah. action and all that stuff. I agree. What I can't, what I don't like is, I'm not too big on movie fakeness. Mm-hmm. Like, like you know, the, that series, the what they sp- spun off from, Fast and Furious. Yes, it's all about racing. You know, now they're superheroes. It, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I agree. I didn't know that. What's his name? Idris Elba. Yes. Mm-hmm. Love him. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. I didn't know his character was like a super. They literally, jacked. like in the trailer, say he's like a superhuman or something. Yeah, he's like he he's the, the black, black Superman. Super, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. yeah. And like, it's getting too fake. Like, I love the transporter. The transporter is awesome. And then I think it was Transporter 3 where he went, like, there was a bomb in the bottom of the car. And then, like, he went on the ramp and it spun. And there was a crane. And the hook of the crane knocked the bomb over. And then. He landed safely and the bomb was knocked off. Huh. That's too fake. Yeah. Yeah. That like like I get it. It's movie magic. Yeah. It's fun. It's entertaining. I hate too fake, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's that's basically all them fast and furious after fucking where they just hit and just kept going and going. Yeah. Uh but that's they make fucking crazy money is what they do. What, what what makes me upset. Cause I, I feel I'm I'm with you, man. I like the idea of the rock and Jason Statham together mm-hmm. it just sounds fucking awesome it's yeah. a great buddy cop but just give me a fucking grounded world I don't right. need all this crazy yeah. Yeah. technical bullshit it would have been fine if he wasn't superhuman if he was just a great fighter yeah cool like, Which I, I think that's what makes was. John Wick work is like oh that's fantastic I love John Wick I know it, it, it's it, it's crazy in a sense but like the, the whole point of it it's just the real nitty gritty like action details it's and he not, gets hurt yeah, yeah. he gets hurt real Maybe that's, I don't know. And, you know, I rented, I jumped on the John Wick train. I, I, last six months, you've been telling me, dude, get on it, get on it, get on it. He I, actually, Keanu Reeves got actual training. He did. Mm-hmm. I, did. You see that video on Facebook of him out in the range? Halle Berry, too. Yeah. <laughs> Kudos on her double taps, dude. She's yeah. good. Um, Sorry. Red boxed it because on Ivan's suggestion, it got like three quarters of the way through and it left off at a really pivotal scene and it just stopped. Oh. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? And of course, Redbox around my area didn't have any. So they gave me a free copy of whatever. Couldn't find it. So I ha- it was on DVR. So I have the first and the second one on DVR that I have to finish. Yeah. And then I'm going to see the third one. Oh, I'm man. Excited. I want to see that third one so bad. I'm excited. It's it's Redbox coming out in like two weeks. Really? Same week as Pokemon. <laughs> I went to the theater and saw that. <laughs> me too! Oh, my God. It was so good, wasn't it? Was good. It? We need to talk about it. My favorite episode. Pokemon was in the beginning of the movie. Which I was one? like, yes, Which Cubone. One? I love Cubone. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, it's cute. Oh, yeah. They were very cute. I don't care. I'm comfortable with my sexual They were cute. <laughs> they Did no I tell shits. you my Ditto story? No. So it was a packed-ass theater, right? Kids are kind of like casual Pokemon fans. My wife could really care less, but the movie made her like, wow. that's Because they did a really good job of bridging it. Oh, it was it. great, yeah. So we're sitting in there. I'm not going to give like away a spoiler, but obviously someone wasn't who they were supposed to be. And I was sitting next to my daughter and I was like, oh, ditto. 
And then the woman in front of me just like turned around and looked at me like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like this condescending look. But I was like, I don't care. It was ditto. It's ditto. It's ditto. Is that your favorite? Yeah. What does he look like underground? What do you mean does he look like underground? What does the rest of his body look like? Oh, I don't <laughs> CGI, you thought that you'd see all of it, but whatever. He's like this jacked ass. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, but Hobbs and Shaw would be kind of fun for us to go see when it drops to five bucks to make fun of. I would just shit on it. I feel like it's what we do to everything. Have I you not met that, us? That might be kind of the point, though. I don't know. Yeah. What, what do I know? I hate thing. everything. It looks fun. It looks like a '90s throwback blockbuster movie where it doesn't need. But to dude, make like sense. even back in the day, I didn't even like Bad Boys. You know what I mean? What you didn't like Bad Boys? I didn't like Bad Boys. Really? Jeez. No. What you That's gonna just... do? <laughs> I felt like it was too jokey. Like it's a comic, but it's supposed to be like. Um, mm-hmm. Action-y. Like, I don't feel like there's a good blend with the action movies. It's either fucking serious, like you're going full-on action, or we're going to have these joke fucking movies. I get you. Um, in Orlando, they have uh, a Fast and Furious ride. Yeah. It's just like a motion simulator ride. Like, you're in this like car, and you're like speeding along. It is pretty cool. But even that, to get on your point about how there's no good balance... Like, it's all serious in the beginning, and the guy's like, all right, we're going to be chasing cars on the highway. We're going to be shooting, whatever. <laughs> and then here comes The Rock, and they're like... And what's whatever his name is in the movie, they're like, what's his whatever his name is has a big gun, and he's gonna blah blah. He's gonna take care of it. And it was funny because it seemed like the Rock broke character because he like lifted up his gun and he was like winked like yep. But it seemed like something <laughs> that should have been on the ride, but it was part of it. And I'm like, that is so what that franchise has turned into that serious, really dark I feel like, movie uh, story. And it, it sucks because uh, it's like that with horror movies nowadays too, yep. where it's like I feel like you push it too far in the comic realm. Yep, like takes uh, away man with the. The Halloween we're talking about. We don't have to get too into this. No. I'm just I'm We're going to bitch for two hours. We'll talk about this in the next one. Oh, I'm so excited for Halloween. we got so many movies <laughs> to watch. Um, scary stories to tell in the dark, motherfucker. Coming out in a couple weeks. Excited for that. Guillermo del Toro. I remember from it, like, it, school, it, it, it looks entertaining. It does. I'll say this. <laughs> yeah. Guillermo del Toro? Yeah. Okay, well, it can't be. I'm, I'll, I'll go see that just to support that dude because he's always awesome. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Hellboy. Uh, yep. You're, you're, and possibly the yeah, most buy, like pans. Li- sorry, pan, I I, pans I never library. saw that. I, so I have good. to. It's awesome. So good. Yeah. The characters, dude. Mm-hmm. And he's got like an animated series. As Does well. he really? It feels like a yeah. twisted Jim Henson to me. Like the way the huh. yeah. I, yeah. Maybe it's because everything's totally. practical. I don't know. I get that. That's something good. I'll have yes. to bring that for you to borrow. You also left. I forgot your Big Lebowski. I did. I forgot. I was so <laughs> mad. He house. gave me a 4K like ultra. I have like four TV. copies of that movie. And I was like, here, do you want this? Because <laughs> we're trying to find something to watch, which... Yes, I certainly do. <laughs> which we watch Mars Attacks. Yes. Oh, Since we talked about it, we had to do it. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll watch it again. Because <laughs> how could you not get enough of that movie, man? Love that movie. Um, and possibly the most exciting part of this month, and I'm being dead serious, Dora and the Lost City of Gold. It's going to be fantastically terrible. We talked about... Uh... The Disney movie, so mm-hmm. you know my take. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm saying. Well, it's okay. like you might as well cash in. What's the big deal? I guess. Mm-hmm. Why not? It's, mm. and it's gonna be, it's gonna be horrible, but it's gonna be fantastic. A lot of people, I, thought, I like. I, I think it's just is Dora Disney or Nickelodeon? Fine. Oh, it is Nickelodeon. You're right. I'm pretty positive Nickelodeon. Yep. Yeah. So they're jumping on too. Say so fuck it. <laughs> Who knows? I don't Does know. Does Disney own Nickelodeon? No. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just Surprise. here for it. They own everything, so I just <laughs> yeah. They own this podcast. They stole Doug know. from Nickelodeon, so <laughs> that's true. And it they made it suck. Mm-hmm. They changed everything about that. Um, I saw <laughs> the hey Skeeter. <laughs> I just rented uh, the newest Pet Cemetery. I heard mixed things. Yeah, I heard mixed. people saying it was good. I heard people saying it was bad. It's the, it's, it's all the, it's depending on what you're looking in to get out of it. If there's plenty of homage to the first one, but there's some other new things I wasn't really too keen about. Kind of made it more horror than the original one, which was cool. There's a couple of parts I was like, oh, you know, I jumped a little bit. <laughs> oh. um, but seeing John Lithgow as the old man was pretty sweet. I like John Lithgow. Me too. So I, just, I was, I'm curious how he's gonna play that for me. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He did, he did a pretty good job. I have a feeling I like it. Yeah. Uh, Shazam came out too. Can you guys see Shazam? No. Need to do that. Oh. It's out on For some reason, video? I was yeah, thinking video. Kazam okay. with Shaquille O'Neal. No, not just, that just one. Just to kind of sum up this podcast. <laughs> no. It was, yeah, that would have been great to finish that up. Did you watch it, Shazam? Like 20 years ago. Shazam. Oh, Shazam. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I went and saw it in the theater and I rented it really? again. Yeah. Huh. Since you was being, it good? You mm-hmm. being the DC mm-hmm. fanboy, mm-hmm. is it good? It was really good. Now, I don't know anything about the comics. I never read them. It was stolen from Marvel. Was that what it was? Yeah, that character was stolen from Marvel. Oh, he's too much like Superman. They're all copies of each other. <laughs> even Superman's not even theirs. Yeah. Um, 
Now I'm I'm a DC comic fan, but I'm a Marvel comic movie fan. If that makes sense, it's because um, you like good uh, good things. Good that things chick, that well. that's originally who he was. The chick in Captain the Avengers? Marvel. Yes. Oh, I did read that somewhere. Okay, but it was good though. I thought it was pretty funny for a DC movie. It was pretty strong. It was. I think it has one. to be funny because <laughs> everything else sucks. You should check it out though. It's a very. Big... I, it seems like one that would kind of get it going in the right direction. Yeah, um, I, and then now The Rock is supposed to be playing Black Adam. In that, really? Yeah, so that'd be pretty. I've sweet. heard that for a while. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. But you guys should check it out. It was funny. Um, also, I thought it was interesting at San Diego Comic Con. Uh, they announced that it two chapter two is going to be two hours and forty five minutes. Wow, straight up, straight up. Because I heard there was like another like hour and fifteen minutes of footage they could have used for the it first might one? be in like a director's cut. Oh, for you're talking about the second one. Yeah. Wow. I thought that's what I I read on on the, the Twitter verse. Yeah. Yeah, I read this on uh, MovieWeb. God damn, two, mm. two hours. And, and what was the first one? Like two two hours? It did, was a long did one. it hit two and a half? I still have to watch mm-hmm. that. It's good. Uh, it's really good, actually. You know, what's funny, though, is we're going, holy shit, two hours and 45 minutes is a long time. That's still 17 minutes less than Endgame was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but it does. Uh, Even fucking Ragnarok <laughs> was long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell it to my bladder. <laughs> Talk to my bladder. <laughs> I feel like that movie could have been a, could have been shortened. No, Which I one? agree. Endgame? No, uh, Ragnarok, dude. Ragnarok was Ragnarok, amazing, dude. but there's amazing. like four fucking storylines going on. Mm-hmm. And it's just like I don't need all of it. I liked it. Mm-hmm. It's 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 awesome. It. Like it, even in the beginning when he's hanging in the chains. Like hold on, hold on. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I swear I'm not doing this. It's awesome. Um, my only complaint with uh, Ragnarok was like I think uh the villain. I, I wish they just would have played her straight evil without yeah. those quips and anything. I, it would have been awesome because she was a badass. She looked she, she, didn't need, she didn't need to be part of the comic. I the saw thing. something funny because her and I wish I knew their names and the dude who ended up helping her mm-hmm. to, to pretty much Carl save Urban? his own ass. Yes. Mm-hmm. They were in Lord of the Rings. And because oh. and, she was that elf. I didn't know God, she was she, in it. I knew yeah, Carl she was that like yeah. the crazy yeah, shit. Um, <laughs> but she, uh, it was like before you listen to metal and it showed them together in Lord of the Rings looking all like Nice and, yeah. and then after you listen to metal, and then they showed them in. <laughs> Dude, I was Scorch. like, that's awesome. Her smoky Des eyes and Troy fantastic. destroy. Uh-huh. Yep. That's all I got, guys. That's all my news. I know we we made that extra long. Did we? Yes. That's what it's you all said. our stupid opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I like movies. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we just need to give it up on music and just do movies. <laughs> yeah. Hey, coming yeah. soon. Yeah. That's all I got. But that's the news. That's the news, guys. <laughs> See you next week. Maybe we'll have something interesting. Yes. Yeah. You you let me know. Oh yeah, that's what I do. (laughs) Bye. Bye. Later.